the crazy genius who used Nikola Tesla ideas to create crystal energy cell, free energy source, considered a mad genius. John Hutchison is believed to be murdered and his inventions were stolen by those who rule the planet. According to Tesla Telegraph, considered a mad genius, John Hutchison is an inventor from Vancouver, Canada, who may have made great strides with anti-gravity and free energy sources. However, like any inventor who escapes the system, everything seemed to indicate that the government elite was in charge of erasing all traces of his inventions. The Vancouver-based independent researcher is a specialist in electromagnetic phenomena, and at the end of 1970, he would reach the peak of his work by making great advances in anti-gravity and in the crystal energy cell, a free energy device. The mad genius of Vancouver, using a variety of electronic equipment, mostly sourced from military junkyards, Hutchison built a grandiose laboratory. And there he developed different experiments with which he achieved unique scientific advances. His inventions go beyond the Tesla coils and showed us that different objects can be levitated through techniques that come from thousands of years ago used by the ancient Egyptians. In fact, he claimed that in ancient Egypt they knew the electrical power of crystals to make endless batteries better known as zero-point energy. The peak of his career as an inventor came in 1979 while trying to reproduce Nikola Tesla's experiments. The scientists reported strange side effects that happened during the tests. Some objects began to levitate. Other material, despite their disparate composition, fused at the molecular level. Other metals fractured or heated spontaneously, reaching high temperatures without calcinating other material around them. He even claimed that he could see how certain materials changed their physical properties or how other smaller ones disappeared completely. And thus he discovered that fundamental frequencies can defy gravity. However, after analyzing the experiment, the Canadian government meddled in their work, calling it the Hutchison effect. It is about the alteration in the properties of certain objects that cause them to levitate, the metal to fracture or heat up, and elements as different as metal or wood to fuse together. Can you believe that? Theorists suggest that this is a result of opposing electromagnetic fields. Thus, they cancel each other out and create a powerful flow of energy from space. George Hathaway is a prominent Vancouver businessman who became interested in Hutchison's work in 1980. He did not hesitate to contact him and together with a consulting engineer from Boeing Aerospace and the Government of Canada, they created a company aimed at developing and promoting his technology. However, and as stated in the, uh, by the inventor, different po uh, po political factors truncated the development of the research. They were forcing him to sign an agreement with the United States government and military. Faced with the refusal, the Canadian government seized his laboratory that when John had traveled to Germany, he assured that they paid more than $70 million to his partner, George Likazis, creating controversy to use the local press and justify his actions. Thus, they concealed their true actions. The inventor left Canada and traveled to different countries to give lectures and explain what had happened until he turned to his native Vancouver in 1991. And there are several videos in which Hutchison shows various pieces of evidence in addition to his testimonies, and these can be found on the internet or the scientist himself can be asked to provide all the material. Some skeptics claim that all the videos use scenes, angles, and lights to create an optical illusion. A television program even aired a special video where a kind of rope attached to a toy UFO was observed that had made it levitate. 
Another thing that works against him is that he never managed to reproduce the effect in addition. The videos also do not show the process as the effect is achieved, but only show the surprising side. They are all focused on what the objects do. Although his believers are sure that Hutchison got a hypothetical electromagnetic wave known as scalar wave, this allowed his mechanism to harness zero-point energy. And this is on Collective Spark by Tesla Telegraph. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.